What is going on, everybody? This is your Rage Inducing player, Echo Hall Point, and Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys have had your your fill of turkey, mashed potatoes, and gravy, corn. You can't have Thanksgiving without stuffing. Oh my God, I love stuffing. It's some of the best stuff you'll ever have. But uh, I hope you guys overall had a great time. I almost didn't see this guy. That could have been a really scrubbish of a move. Oh man, I a scrub. Uh, I could have been a scrub right there. That would have been bad. But I hope you guys had lots of fun visiting with family, even though you want to punch their teeth out sometimes. That's just, you know, it's part of the holidays, guys. Uh, hope you guys had a great time. And speaking of great time, guys, I get my first raps this game, and I'm just ecstatic. Uh, and in my defense, this game, I, pretty, I play really defensively. I didn't really rush as hardcore as I normally do. The game before this, guys, from the fountain halfway and back. They were just downright not letting you get in. I mean, it was ridiculous. I could have swore it was a team, but apparently a couple of these other players are actually new players, so it, I guess they all just thought the same, whatever. But they were camping last game. It was insane. So I thought I would kind of get in their spawn and just destroy them. It didn't plan out like I thought it was, but I did get wraps, and that kind of blew my mind because I was, just had to get them. But next, uh, I have another game on to upload this Saturday. It's a 30 and something gameplay where I actually get wraps again and I'm just full out bum rushing some people. And speaking of which, I got some tips and tricks for you guys about Call of Duty that hopefully, hopefully will make you a better Black Ops 3 player. Now, I gotta give my boy Oblivion Ninja a shout out for helping me uh, this game and the other game. We were just running together and what can I say? We were just having a ball, destroying people. And I will say this, he gets some obliviating grenade throws in some of these games but first off if you guys you know you guys see all these players you know running on walls you know and then trying to shoot you and you're just laughing you're just laughing i mean come on the accuracy on some of these people that try to wall run and shoot people is just it's god awful Get, go back <laughs> they're scrubs go back to black ops 2 i mean i'm serious it's bad well, the tip is is play lots of free run. Free run, you practice your running, your sprinting, your sliding. Basically, all these advanced movements are on top of shooting. And these obstacle courses are ridiculous. Now, I have to say, if you can get around three and a half minutes on the highest difficulty setting, because I've got like 317 right now. I'm pretty sure that's what my time is. Your gameplay, just in general, you're killing you know, while wall running, you're killing while on the ground. It's just going to overall get better because you're practicing those key components of accuracy, guys. And I got to admit, a connection in Black Ops 3 is necessary. If you got a laggy connection, you might as well just kiss your butt goodbye and die. I mean, that's bottom line. Connection is number one in Call of Duty. And if you don't know this by now, quit. Go. <laughs> Scrub! Because Call of Duty connection is everything. Now, besides that, if you know how to, ha how to aim and play strategically, oh, you have got yourself a game-winning gameplay. <laughs> But overall, it's gonna help you a lot. You're gonna practice like right, right there. I don't, I just turned on that kid. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> he should have killed me, but whatever. Um, I really do like this map. This map has a lot of good layout on it. Now, besides that, free running is really the basically the only really good tip I have. And learning uh, these guys, since you've got all these ex ex outrageous movements. You've got to learn to use them to your advantage. You might not normally play like this, but guys, right there, that distracted me. If I that was a teammate's, I think I don't know. It was blue. I think the enemy is yellow. I'm not sure, but using all these OP and new features to the game might feel odd to Call of Duty. I said it in my last gameplay. I believe games change over the years, but make sure, regardless of what they call it or what things they give you. Use them to your advantage. Like, really, it's... I understand snipers. Snipers drive you nuts. But people that use them, I mean, they're being really effective. Long scoping, uh, hard scoping. I have been quick scoped, believe it or not. The people that have figured it out, you, sir, are a genius. Because, for one, I dislike you highly. But, two, <laughs> I mean, it's effective. What can I say? If you can quick scope in this game... You were one of the very few, the proud, Black Ops 1 and 3 players. I mean, you've got to have some skill to do it, unless there's some sort of trick. I haven't figured it out, and I really don't care to. But, overall, free run is a good way to practice your skills. And now I have got something to say to the people that made uh, the custom games. You know how you can set the difficulties on the bots? The bot difficulty 
is ridiculous. It is sad. I'll probably upload the most high difficulty bots I can. Two people versus 12 bots on the highest difficulty setting. I'll do that, guys. But it is ridiculous on how easy they are. The bots, compared to Black Ops 2, they're nothing. They are pansies. I mean, it, it, and I'm serious. It's Treyarch, Activision. I can understand, you know, you know, custom games kind of kind of takes the back burner. But come on, I mean, really? You can buff the difficulties on custom games, and that's where I get my first shitty death. <laughs> my raps killed me. <laughs> wrong place, wrong time. You know, hey, <laughs> Call of Duty, shit happens. But I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay commentary. I hope you guys had a happy Thanksgiving. And I'll be uploading another video on Saturday, but if you guys want to see me uh, do some 2 on 12, the highest difficulty bots possible, let me know because, guys, the difficulty on them is ridiculous. Another thing is, you want another good practical tip for Black Ops 3, get better at reading the flow. And when I mean by flow, you've got these extravagant movements. Back to this. It's going to affect how fast people get there and how quick. And, oh, I love campers. Hey, buddy, what's up? <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay commentary. I am out, and peace.